iRacing is great to jump into just as we're about to do and the default UI can help you out with a few things. There's buttons you need to bind, uh, especially to change the black box in the corner, I would highly recommend. And a lot of people don't really work this out straight away because it's not really said. The guys that have played for a long time have add-ons to track things and know how to toggle between all this. They, they see how helpful it is. But for the newcomer or the people who've been you know, racing for under maybe six months, probably haven't come across some of these things. So they really helped me out a lot and hopefully they help you out a lot too. So what we're going to do is jump in to a default test drive in one of my favorite cars, a Porsche RSR on Lime Rock Park. We were here last week for the first race of the IMSA season. Good fun. Crazy though. We'll log in and we'll look at the default UI, what I do to set it up and make sure that it's really, really helpful. There's a few crucial things that can make or break each race that you do. Okay, so you can see that if we press Alt and K, the letter K on the keyboard, so hold Alt, press K, you can now change everything on the screen. Super, super helpful because sometimes, you know, you might want the flags in a different spot because normally they're up top left. If you've got a big screen, it's hard to see. So I like to put mine right here so I don't miss them. Voice chat, everything can be moved around, even your black box down in the corner. Press Alt K to lock that again. I have my gears and stuff waved to the side because I don't actually use the default ones. There's Alt K to rearrange things where you want, first of all. Then you're going to want to go to options and absolutely change a few things under control. So you have in-car systems. One is the pit speed limiter. You have to bind this as you get up the, the classes a little bit. Some cars naturally have a pit speed limiter, just depending on the category that you do. But you don't want to rely on this because when you enter one of the high races, you come flying into the pits, you put your foot down in the pits because you expect the limiter to come on and you just keep going and you get black flagged, 30 second drive through. It's the end of a race pretty much if you get 30 second drive through. So I bind one to a quick access button here. That's why it's got a weird one, it's bound to my wheel. And you want to get in the habit of using that as soon as you come in. So drop down to first or second gear. You look for your speed. Make sure it's under 50 kilometers an hour as normally is. And then activate it so that you can't go above that. Making sure that you turn off just as you exit the pits over to the green pole here. So that's the first tip. And the second one is to make sure that you bind also to your button uh, next black box. What that does is let you toggle midway through a race between the different options. So defaultly it's stuck on this one. It gives you your lap time. It will in the corner after you do a few laps and have some other guys on the track tell you who's in front by how long and who's behind for how long, which is fine if you're doing one category. The problem is if you're racing the RSR or in the IMSA category at all, you've got three different leagues on the track at the same time. It doesn't tell you who's coming up behind you in a faster car that's not actually racing you but it just won't let you tell that. It says like you might have 10 second gap and you're like, oh yeah, yeah. And then you look in the rear vision, you've got a Corvette right up your ass. You don't want that. So you need to, if you're running the default UI, keep an eye on relative to see who's on the track coming up behind you or in front of you. And a lot of the time, there'll be guys that are a lap down and they'll come up as a light blue name and you know that they're already a lap behind. There's no point really trying to pass them or battle them a lot of the time you can say like, oh, you know, Dave, come up behind you. Can I pass you at the main straight? And they'll get out the way, you know? So it's just really good to keep your eye on relative. There's also fuel. So let's say you do a full lap and you're coming in and you haven't modified your fuel. So that gets a bit more intense as we go. But while the pit limit is on, okay, you can come in, pull the fuel down if you think you know how much you need and you're all good, you can also toggle, change your tires. Pretty clunky to do, but you get the idea. You can change everything by toggling through. You can turn it off if you don't want it at all. There's a default UI. Let's move on to the add-ons that I think you need to change your whole experience with iRacing. The first is a free application. They're both free, mind you, actually called Crew Chief V4. So if we open that application, put my headset on so I can hear now. 
you get this toolbar coming up. Now it's really easy to use. You select the game that you're playing. We'll get Claire to talk to us as a spotter. Jim is our default chief until you buy more. And this also has a voice recognition mode where you can ask it things. How much fuel, like Jim, how much fuel do I have left? I haven't actually played with it. I just know how intensive it can be. Um, and we can start application. Radio check. Spotter, radio check. So now this is a much more detailed version of, and turn down messages and background volume, by the way. Much more detailed version of the default spotter that iRacing gives you. It tells you if you're off the pace, on the pace, tells you when to push. Um, it can swear at you. It acts like a real race engineer into your phone. It's free. It just enhances everything. The guys will tell you, the spotter, like someone's coming up on your left, whatever. Super good, super good. You have to run it. And I'll drive with it. And if I get it off track, you'll hear it tell me off. And then finally, the more difficult one to use still pretty easy it's called race lab apps so it's made by the small team if not a single guy you have to get it by joining the discord server but again completely free you just ask for a donation for his work and they do update it really regularly okay finally here we are i just had to reinstall the app it's just never done that before but anyway here is it here it is race labs uh this version it's going to change all the time support develop the donate or you can follow and subscribe his twitch channel which is a nice little touch it's pretty simple okay we'll boot up um i racing we'll tab back to this because you can open these racing overlays at any given time okay actually let's just open it now and then we'll boot i racing so i like to run this one now you can choose which ones you run even the garage cover if you don't want to see your setup BattleBot is, very, is brand new. It kind of like pitches you against someone else and you can see what sectors you're slower in, but I haven't used that one yet. Relative positions. And it's got the speedo or your gear shifter and stuff um, built in, or you can just have that. So let's go this one and you click this double box in the corner to open an overlay mode. Standings. We want to know where we are in the, uh, in the race. We want to know who's around us. And it's cool to know, see the uh, arrows down that are red or up? You can set it so it'll tell you, if you finish here, what's going to happen to your I rating. You can also show you gaps, the fastest lap that you've done in the race, or your last lap. Really customizable. You scroll down here, and uh, you can turn off things like this. Multi-class settings, driver information, what you actually want to see. So you can tinker around with this. I've only changed things once. Probably need some tweaking. But... We'll pull the window open. We will open overlay mode and we will also open the fuel calculator in overlay mode. Let's do some laps. Okay, so nothing looks different, but as soon as we enter the track, you'll see nothing is different. <laughs> it's because the here, it's best if you have the game open and then you uh then you open stuff like this. Relative overlay. Okay, now we're looking good. You can see a few things that are different. Okay, let's get used to using that limiter. Turn it off. There we go. So in the top right, sorry, top left, you can see that that's where I've moved my uh, standings. And you can just move this whenever you want. We have a fuel calculator here, which sits right above. Oh, I don't know. Right above uh, your black box, which you can toggle through. And down in the corner, I have my gears and also my relative. So I always know who is in front of me or behind on the track, meaning I can freely tinker with this if I need to, or mostly just keep it on the original lap timing, make see what lap we're on, incident counts, current last lap, things like that. So, so interchangeable, makes the game so much better. And we'll do a few laps to show you how these add-ons kind of work, but they don't get the Justice, just like Crew Chief, they're built for races and that's when they work the best. This one will track laps and stuff, but a lot of these, like the standings, obviously we're the only one on the track, so it's not gonna show like where you're gonna finish eye racing, eye rating wise and, and things like that. So do some laps here and then there's finally one more add-on that uh, I think you've probably heard about, but I think everyone needs it as well. You see the fuel calculator over on the side, and that's what we have, and it recommends what we should put in. 
Game Raider, we need to watch these track limits. There you go, you're just telling us off. Normal iRacing wouldn't do that. The good thing is that if it's saying, you know, refuel... That lap was at 52.53. What's your best lap in this session? Right, we're dead. Then you can tinker with it. You're outside of track limits there. So I said we need 65 litres to do the next 100 laps or something. And tinkering with it when you get a chance or as you come into the pits. I can't believe they changed line up so much. Like I do like the old features of it. It's not like it's a it's just different now. Like these gravel patches on the road really grab the car. It's a lot more slick now. I think the whole tarmac is a lot more slick in the new one. Sector one time's okay. So well. Makes the track feel so much more fast than it currently is. So if we wanted to check on how things are going, fire and pose. That was a 51.12. Sector 3 time is fast. Sector 1 is quick. It's so fascinating to like that. So cool. Just done at 51.29. Sector 3 time is quick. So there you go. There is the Race Labs app with everything you can do with it. Or not everything. You do battle bots and everything now. And they're always consistently updating it. So super, super important to have. Now the last one, and it's the reason how I got this really cool skin. Well, I think it's really cool. Or livery. Um, a lot of you may have heard about it. It's called Trading Paints. So we're Trading Paints. You actually, uh, the application itself, you don't tinker with. That's the application. Start trading paints on system startup, automatically refresh paints. What you do is you download the little add-on, you go to the website. Like this. I think you have to make a little count there, link your thing with it. But from then on, it's super, super easy. You link your actual iRacing account. You can look at all vehicles. Let's say we want to change the RSR skin that I have. Okay, you pop it up. Now, it currently has what I have set. Let's change a cup car. Let's change a cup car because I had a shit one on that one. I remember. Okay, my cup car is currently running uh, this one here. Now, training paints is completely free. You see, some of them say pro and some don't. I originally thought that means it's, you have to have like a 
special membership or something like that. It's not. It just uh, I don't actually know what it means. But you can still run any skin that you see. So let's pick one. There's some pretty cool ones up top. That's what I'm currently running. Don't like it a whole lot. This one caught my attention. MXU Collector's Edition. You can see who's made it. And people can do this. Anyone can make a skin and upload it. Porsche 911 Monster Crazy World. That is insane. We'll put that on for now. I don't know if I actually like it. Race is tank, confirm. It will say success. And next time you open up iRacing with this car, you're going to be racing that skin. I'm going to finish on the video by trying to find a better skin. But if you would like to see more videos, there will be one somewhere in the screen, either a tag or a picture. Most recent video, one that YouTube thinks is really good for you to watch based on your search criteria. And also, if you click the big bed on a deadlift, you can subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. I want like a crazy look or a clean look. I really like the blue rims on the Michelin. Blue rims on the Michelin is the best. Can we better it? That's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to go about skins. I think it's a really good strategy. Because livery is everything. You know, 10% more horsepower if you're a sick skin on. Everyone knows this, so... Got to pick wisely. Have to pick wisely. Oh, that one's just carbon fiber. Whole thing. Wow. This one really caught my attention. Some good ones down here. The pen right really caught my attention. Oh, we, oh the golf one caught my attention. Okay, we got best of three. Oh my god, that looks really good. Okay, that's the last one opening. So we have Team Spirit. I really like the look of that. MSI, like computer parts and things like that. We've got the fluor on the back. Erebus Penrite. Uh, not really digging the army too much, so we'll get rid of that one. I really like the golf one. Uh, red or blue, red or blue, red or blue, red or blue. Red or blue, red or blue. I'm going to say the red. And then our best out of these ones. Wow! Wow, how do they make that? It's that incredible. I don't really like the shape in the front, but that color scheme is awesome. Oh, let's just let's just live a little bit. Let's live a little bit crazy. I'm gonna put this one on. Alright, done.